Alrighty, you guys. So today's kind of a crazy day. It's actually my mom's birthday. So I just have some last minute like running around to do. Um, and I thought I would just kind of film like a quick, easy, like get ready with me, follow me around vlog style. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd press record and kind of see what happens. Um, so yeah, so I'm just getting ready to go to the mall. I have some errands to run, then I'm going to grocery shop after. So I'm just putting on my Neutrogena Hydro Boost SPF 50. Um, I like to use this one as like a beauty sunscreen more than like actual sunscreen, if that makes sense. So I won't put this all over my body, but I use this on my face, my neck, and my hands. Um, those are the spots that show your aging the most. So I'm just trying to start incorporating that because I really just am not somebody who's going to sit there and put a whole bottle of sunscreen all over my whole body, which I wish I was because that would be good, but I'm not. So I'm just using a beauty sunscreen and I don't notice any flashback with this. Just taking some Studio Fix foundation from MAC and I just start in the center of my face because this is where I like the most coverage. And I'm not doing crazy makeup or anything. This is just like day to day, what I do when I'm in a rush, when I have things to do. I'm gonna go in with some Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm just gonna, gonna do what you gotta do. Now I'm just going to set it with some Studio Fix powder. This is a foundation powder, so you can wear this on its own, but it just gives a nice extra bit of coverage if you wear it on top of foundation. I still want to look glowy, so I'm not going to go too hard with this. Just enough to not look like a grease ball. go in with some warm soul blush because this just looks like softer bronzer if that makes sense like it just adds some extra color it's not pink not peach so it doesn't look like you're wearing like a ton of blush Ugh, it's so annoying this one is like a perfect brow it's full and respects me i'm going super late because i don't want it to look like i have any product You guys, I'm, I really like the wand on this one because I feel like it actually makes me look like I have eyelashes. But like the actual product itself, I feel like is really clumpy and like annoying. So if you guys have a good recommendation for a mascara, that would be amazing. I prefer drugstore mascara, not because I think high-end isn't good. I just think it's such a waste of money. Um, products that run out or dry up quick, like eyeliner, mascara, I prefer to get at the drugstore. Just because those are products I'll replace more often and I'm not going to spend $30 on a mascara every like month or two. So. And then just for every day I like to use this Plenty of Pout Plumping Lip Gloss by MAC. It like tingles and makes your lips a little fuller so I usually put this on before I do like a lip. Or I'll just wear it kind of like this. I'm like, I am trying to blind people, but like I'm also just going to the mall, so. Let's put on some hoops. I feel like when you have hoops on, even if you're in a bummy t-shirt, you just look like you have your shit together. All right guys, so I'm gonna start doing this vlog style now. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright, you guys, we got a little 
OOTD here. I've got these camo biker shorts that I got from Garage. They're super cute. They're not see-through, which is important. Um, baggy t-shirt is also from Garage. You could just get it at Walmart. Don't be like me and waste your money. And then I just have a little braid, some hoops. And that's that, you guys. OOTD. All right, so note to self, eat cereal before putting minty plumping lip gloss on because it does not taste very good. Alrighty guys, I'm heading out to, I'm heading out to the mall. I'm gonna go get my mom a birthday gift, uh, maybe a gift card or something, we'll see. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm probably gonna head to the grocery store and pick up some food, so let's go. Quick view of my shopping cart. I'm trying not to record a lot in here because I feel bad and like you're not supposed to, and I'll probably get in trouble, so we're just gonna casually go. I'll show you guys when I get home more in detail. But am I the only one that literally loves the ethnic food aisle? I love just like staring and seeing what people eat and like trying new things. I don't know. Comment down below if you do that too. guys so I just got back from the grocery store and I thought I would do a little grocery haul here of what I got in case anybody's interested um, I am right now trying to eat a little bit healthier so I'm trying to stock up on some snacks and things that will get me through um, without reaching for junk so I have these I love these so they're like little packages and they have um, fruits and veggies in them and they're unsweetened so it's all natural sugars um, so I got a couple different flavors Mixed berry and carrot, strawberry kiwi, and you don't taste the vegetables in these, so these are really good for kids too, but I love that they're unsweetened. So the next thing I got is rice paper. So these rice paper wraps, you can find them in the ethnic food aisle. These you just soak individually in water and they get really soft and you can put any veggies you like in them. So I'll make them like Thai style or you can even put like tofu or shrimp or chicken or anything in them as well. And then I just got some almond milk and this aloe vera drink. It's not necessarily the healthiest, but I love this drink. So I got it. Um, it has like little bits of aloe vera in it so you can like chew on it too. Um, so it's better than like going for like bubble tea or something like that. Um, and then I got vegan mayo to try. I'm not vegan, but I have endometriosis and that sometimes with dairy like doesn't go well. Um, and it's known to like upset your stomach more, or give you more pain. So I'm just trying to um, substitute some things in my life and see if that helps at all. Um, just little by little. So I'm not necessarily cutting out meat or cutting out cheese or whatever, but just having a lot less of it and a lot less of the pro animal products. And then I also found this. So this is vanilla dairy-free yogurt. Um, I got some tortillas and some cans of corn and just some of these spinach and roasted garlic crackers. I like these for when I'm craving something crunchy and salty, but I don't want to eat like chips or something junky. Um, so they're not necessarily the best for you, but they're a better alternative than chips. Um, and then I love pickled turnips, you guys. I put these in salads. I'll make shawarma bowls, shawarma uh, sandwiches, shawarma salads. Like, I love having these because they're just really, like, salty and crunchy and tangy. I got some dried apricots. This is kind of, like, natural candy. Then I got lettuce because I want to do um, some, like, chicken, cashew, like, lettuce wraps or something like that. Um, and then some sweet potatoes. I also got some vegan butter. This is my favorite hummus ever, caramelized onions, so it's also good with those wheat thin crackers. 
um, smoked tofu. This is good in those rice paper wraps. Um, it's already flavored. You don't have to even cook this. You can just kind of warm it up. This is the sriracha flavor. It's so good. So I'll put like cucumber, like vermicelli noodles, um, red pepper, cilantro, smoked tofu, and then dip it in like a peanut sauce. It's freaking bomb. Uh, so vegetable broth and brown rice and some bananas. Alrighty, you guys, so that is the final grocery haul. Thank you guys so much for following me around today, and I'll see you in my next video.